section 3. We are going to configure Office 365. In this section, in the first video, we are going to manage user rights to install Office 365 Pro Plus. But first, manage deployment of Office 365 add-ins in the Office 365 Admin Center. Centralized deployment is the recommended and most feature-rich way for most admins to deploy add-ins to users and groups within an organization. Centralized deployments provides the following benefits. A global admin can assign an add-in directly to a user, to multiple users via group or to everyone in the tenant. When the relevant office application starts, the add-in automatically downloads for the user. If the add-in supports add-in comments, the add-in automatically appears in the ribbon within the office application. Add-ins will no longer appear for users if the admin turns off or deletes the add-in, or if the user is removed from Azure Active Directory or from a group that the add-in is assigned to. Working with Office Online There are many differences between Office Online apps and on-premises Office apps, including the following application-level differences with respect to features like Word Online does not have advanced page layout tools or advanced printing capabilities. User cannot preview or author Office Online documents without an internet connection. Office Online documents do not have Office add-ins and they cannot run Visual Basic for application and form scripts. Excel Online cannot create external data connections. Office Online Office Online provides an alternative way to use Office Application Online. You cannot use Office Online in an offline mode. You can use the following Office Online apps to view and edit documents online, like Word Online, OneNote Online, PowerPoint Online, Excel Online, and Teams Online. So let's run your portal.office.com in your browser and let's get started. I logged in as the administrator. When I click here, you can see that in Sadoch is log in. You can now see the option to install the office part. It will install the office on my PC. I can manage the installation. When I go to admin, show all, settings, services and add-ins. On services and add-ins, you get the option of office software download settings. When you click on it, you get the option software for PC and mobile devices. You can turn it off. Skype for Business, you can turn it off. And the same goes to software for Mac. At the end, save changes. Click OK. Close. You need to sign out to see if it's working. Sign out. And please sign in again to Portal. And you can see here, there's no option to install the office on your PC. I will now go to the admin center and switch it back on. Show all settings, QT and edits. And you get the option Office Software Download Settings. I will switch it back on. And same goes for Mac. Click Save Changes. Click OK. You need again to sign out. This option goes for every user in the Office 365 tenant. So sign out. And please sign back in. And you can see now there's the option to install Office. So this is all for now.